hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for all your support if you're new to my channel you're welcome to my channel if you've not subscribed please subscribe today i'll be making a simple dress i'll be using this fabric for it to know how many inches you'll cut out for this style you will use your sleeve length you will measure from your center back to your hand where you want the sleeve to stop or you will use your shoulder measurement and add how many inches you want for your sleeve length the shoulder measurement i'm working with is 16 16 divided by 2 is 8 so this is 8 inches so i'm going to use 8 inches sleeve length you can use 8 inches you can use 7 inches you can use 6 inches it depends on what you want so i'll use 8 inches plus one inch allowance so 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 1 in seam allowance 17 so what i have here is 17 inches the, this is for the front it's folded into two this is for the back it's folded into two also this is starting line from starting line shoulder line to this line is 17 inches west line so this line is from shoulder to this line is 24 inches hip line this is the length of the dress 37 inches plus 2 inches seam allowance to hem it half inch to join it at the upper part and one and a half to hem it so now i'm going to mark the measurement this is the waist measurement the waist measurement i'm working with is um 40 inches 40 divided by 4 is 10 inches plus 1 inch for ease 11 inches and 1 inch seam allowance 12 inches 12 inches this is the hip line the hip measurement i'm working with is 44 inches 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches plus 1 inch for ease 12 inches and 1 inch seam allowance 13 inches this is 13 inches Thirteen inches. So the measurement that I have here, I'll mark it at the lower part. I have thirteen inches here. I'll mark thirteen inches at the lower part. This is the shoulder line. I'm going to mark the neckline. Neck width of three inches. Neck depth of three inches. The front and the back neckline will be the same. So, I have 3 inches by 3 inches. The front neckline and the back neckline will be the same. But I want both neckline. So, to mark the both neckline, my shoulder measurement is 8 inches. And I have 3 inches neck width here. What I will do, from these 3 inches, I will measure what I have and divide it into 2. I have 5 inches. 5 divided by 2 is 2 and half. 2 and half here. So I'll add this 2 and half to the 3 inches. So I'm going to use 5 and half inches for the neckline. From this 5 and half inches, I'll curve it to this 3 inches neck depth. So on this side, I'll mark 2 inches for my shoulder slant. From these 2 inches, I'll connect it to the neck width. I'm going to mark the round sleeve measurement from this shoulder slant i'll mark the round sleeve measurement the round sleeve i'm working with is 15 inches 15 divided by 2 is seven and a half so seven and a half i want it a little bit loose i'll add one inch to it so i'll use eight and a half eight and a half plus half inch to join the shoulder is 
9 inches and 1 inch seam allowance 10 inches I will use 10 inches this is 10 inches I will mark the bust measurement on this line the bust measurement I'm working with is 44 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches plus 1 inch for ease is 12 inches and 1 inch seam allowance 13 inches I will mark 13 inches and the same measurement that I have on the hip line here is the same measurement that I have at the lower part 13 inches 13 inches so I'm going to connect it I use one inch for ease but if you want you can use one inch or more so on this side I added one inch seam allowance but I don't need one inch seam allowance but if you're not adding turn up to your own one inch seam allowance is fine to fold the sleeve half inch half inch but because I'm going to sew turn up on this side I will minus I'll cut off half inch and use half inch for the seam allowance so I'll mark half inch to cut, trim it off. So half inch. Half inch. So I don't need this half inch. I will use the remaining half inch to sew the turn up to it. So from this line, I will come in by one inch and connect it back to this line. So I'm going to trim it off from this line. So to curve it on this side, I'll mark one inch and come down by two inches on this side, one and a half, two inches. Two inches. One inch. So I'm going to curve it to this line. So I'm going to cut it this way. One is for the front and one is for the back. I'm going to cut out the first thing, but I'll use another fabric. I don't have enough. I'll use another fabric to cut out the first thing. But what you need for this style is two years. I'll fold fabric into two. 
I'll put it under into two. I'll use the neckline to trim it. So on this side, I'll mark three inches. Okay, what I have here is three and a half. I'll just use it. Here, I'll mark three inches or three and a half. Three inches. I'll curve it. So this is the facing. I will use it to cut out the other facing. This is for the front and this is for the back. They are the same. Right side together. I will join them together with half in seam allowance. I will do the same on this side. This is the facing. I have interfacing on it. I also overlock it. So I will put it together, right side together. This is the shoulder line. I will join it with half in seam allowance. With half in seam allowance. This is the facing. I've sewn it together. I also press it. So this is the dress. I've joined the front and the back together. This is the wrong side of the fabric. I joined the shoulder. I also press it. I did the same on this side. This is wrong side of the fabric. I have this for the sleeve. You will measure what you have here and you will use it to cut this out. So, but this side is five inches. I'll fold it into two, two and a half. I'll use half inch to stitch it to the dress. You will measure what you have and use it to cut this out. This is the wrong side of the fabric. I'll put it this way. I will stitch it with half inch seam allowance. After that, I will top stitch. I will do the same on the other side. This is this is the right side of the fabric. I want to sew face into the dress. This is the shoulder line. This is the shoulder line. I will pin it together. This is the shoulder line on this side. I'll pin it also. I'll stitch it with half inch seam allowance. With half inch seam allowance. This is the right side of the fabric. If you want, you can also sew this um, sleeve this way. You will put it inside. You put it under and stitch it with half inch seam allowance. After that, you will now turn it and top stitch on this side. You will push the seam to the fabric side and top stitch. I've sewn the facing to the dress from the right side of the fabric. After that, I now flip it over to the wrong side of the fabric. I notch and top stitch. So, but I will tack it. I will tack it on this side, but I will do it from the front side of the fabric, inside this seam line. I will do the same on this side to tack it. 
inside the seam line. I will tuck it on this side. But I will sew inside the seam line. I gave it a good press. So this is the this is the sleeve. I have extra here. I will trim it off later. I have extra on this side also. I will trim it off later. I stitch it. After stitching it, I push the seam to this side. To this side. And top stitch. After that, I press it. I did the same on this side. What I will do next is to stitch the two sides and hem the lower part. This is the wrong side of the fabric. So this is the wrong side of the fabric. This is the wrong side of the fabric. I will stitch it with one inseam allowance after I will trim this off. I will stitch it with one inseam allowance from here, one inch. To the end. After that, you will notch this point. You will notch. I will do the same on this side. So after shaping the two sides, I will hem the lower part half inch, one inch, I will stitch on it. So this is the dress. All finished. This is the... So the dress, you will tack your sleeve on this side, you will tack it, you will tack it. <laughs> so, this is the dress. So I finished the dress. So this this is the dress you will tuck your sleeve here shoulder line you will tuck it on this side just here so you can make yours longer like share and subscribe to my channel thank you